as we all know about this great personality he is manu kumar jain today i am going to share some interesting facts about manu kumar jain firstly we will talk about his early life his education and then his career if you are new to my channel please subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you get notified instantly talking about his early life manu kumar jain was born on 25th january 1981 at meerut uttar pradesh talking about his education he was an average student it is surprising to know that when he cleared his class 12th exam he didn't know about iits or iit entrance exam when he was in class 12 someone advised manu to take the state engineering entrance exams he cleared that exam and when he went for counseling someone asked him his iit rank then he understood the importance of iit then he decided to drop out and apply for iit je the next year when he talked about this to his father he thought he was doing a huge blunder but later on he supported him by his efforts he cleared iit je and got placed in iit delhi in 1999 that was a huge turning point in his life he got graduated as mechanical engineer in the year 2003 talking about his career After his graduation there was a company called Tech Startup which was an IT company which offered job for computer science students who know coding but still he decided to give an interview during interview manu said he was from mechanical branch and have no knowledge about coding but he said they can give him any math puzzle and he can solve it they were amazed by his skill and offered him a job he worked there for 2 years then he realized that he didn't want to code for rest of his life he had some other plans so he joined iim kolkata where he did mba for 2 years there were nearly 300 companies which came to iim kolkata that year he applied for only 3 companies which were mckinsey bcg and bain which were consulting companies finally he joined mckinsey worked there for 4 years He then turned into an entrepreneur by co-founding fashion portal Jabong. In July 2014, he left Jabong to join Xiaomi. Their first office was very small and was only six seater. Before launching their first product, which was Mi 3, Manu took advice of many experts. They said he was doing it wrong because he was trying to sell online while the entire industry was offline. First sale of Mi 3, they bought only 10,000 units. because ready me india had 10000 followers on facebook page so he thought at least this 10000 people will buy it the first sale day was 22nd july 2014 which was launched on flipkart amazingly flipkart crashed for the first time in the history of flipkart half a million people turned out to buy this product and that was a great success for xiaomi for the first 3 years they were mainly selling online they also understood the need of offline stores so they started me home stores First Mi Home store was started in Phoenix Mall, Bengaluru. When it started, Manu asked mall developer, "Can he give us a store on ground floor?" He said, "No. I don't want to waste my premium real estate on a brand like you. We can give you lower ground floor." Manu agreed with it, and mall developer said, "If 100 people turn up on your store on first day, it will be a big success." This is what happened on the first day. 10,000 people turned up. This was the biggest ever queue Phoenix Mall has ever seen. In one day, they did a revenue of 5 crore rupees from a single shop. They sell their products mainly on Flipkart, Amazon and Mi Store. Mi Store is the third largest e-commerce platform in India and eighth largest e-commerce platform in the world. They have three series of smartphone which is Redmi, Mi and Poco. They also have their other IoT devices such as smart TV, smart watch, power banks and many more. This is Xiaomi logo where MI stands for mobile internet. Manu Kumar Jain was awarded as best CEO of the year 2019 by Forbes India. Hit that like button and subscribe so that you don't miss this amazing videos.